Hey everyone, in the last video I show you how to set up a Fabrics.js canvas in React application and we even added some simple UI elements to place shapes and video elements onto the canvas. Today we are going to build settings panel that lets you and your users modify the canvas itself, changing dimensions like width and height in real time. To keep things organized, let's create a new file called canvassettings.js. This component will handle the controls for adjusting the canvas dimensions, like width and the height. By separating this functionality into its own component, we ensure our project stays clean and scalable. We also bring in the input component from Blocks and System NPM package, which we'll use to create our input fields. Next, we define the canvas settings function and initialize the state for canvas width and canvas height with default values of 500 pixels each. Now we'll use the use effect hook to make sure the canvas size updates whether the width or height changes. This hook will watch for changes to canvas width, canvas height, and the canvas object itself. Here's what happens. Whether the state variables canvas width or canvas height change, we update the corresponding dimensions on the canvas and re-render it. This ensures that the canvas stays in sync with the user's inputs. Next, we need functions to handle changes in the input fields. These functions will update the state based on what the user types, allowing the canvas dimensions to change dynamically. We have two functions, handle with change and handle height change. These functions clean up the input by removing any commas and then convert the input into an integer. If the value is valid, we update the corresponding state variables. Finally, let's render the input fields using the input component from Blocks and System. These fields will allow users to adjust the canvas width and height directly. In the return statement, we create a div container with class canvas settings. Inside, we render two input components, one for width and one for the height. Each input is linked to our state via the value prop and uses the change handler we defined earlier to update the state in real time. Now that our canvas settings component is complete, let's integrate it into our main application. Here's how you can add it right below your existing settings component. With the integration done, you should see the new input fields in your application. Go ahead and test it out. Try changing the values to see the canvas size update instantly. And that's it. You've just successfully built a canvas settings component that allows users to dynamically control the width and height of the canvas. This adds a lot of flexibility to your Fabric.js canvas applications, making them more user-friendly. In the next video, I will show you how to enable snapping of the objects within the canvas, improving the overall canvas experience. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and drop any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.